guys for not making a video in a while. I was away on about a month long trip and now I am back though so now that means back to making more videos and I thought it would be fun to show you guys a little haul of the things that I have collected this year so um, yeah let's go ahead and get started. So this is a collective haul which basically is pretty much most of the stuff I've collected this year in 2016. I'm not going to be doing a lot of hauls this year only because I am trying to save my money. I'm going on a trip this summer and I need to buy myself a plane ticket to find myself over there so um yeah but anyways like I said let's go ahead and get started. So most of my hamster stuff this year I've actually ordered online recently in fact I think it still might be going on I'm not sure but Petco had this like on their website only up to 40% off on a lot of stuff and I ended up ordering enough to have free shipping so it just worked out and it was so much cheaper, but I did order from Biovet because I've been playing around with my hamster's diets um, because Hazel Hamster recently, or not recently, it was a while ago, but they dropped their protein content from like 18 down to 16, so I've been trying to calculate a really good diet. So I ordered from Biovet and I really wanted to try their um, Burgess Hamster Harvest. Here I have the bag because I already dumped it into my hamster food container and mixed it with my Higgins Sunburst, but um, this is just what it looks like and it has 17% protein and it has mealworms. That's one of the reasons I've never tried this food before is because all of my past hamsters have hated mealworms, but Toodles and Butterball both happen to love mealworms, so I was like, okay, that works. <laughs> so the next thing from BioVet is the Savage Sputnik Hamster House and I have the blue and the green one and all of my hamsters have loved this and it's just been a really great thing to put in their cage for me at least. So I decided to order another one so Butterball and Toodles can have one and they sent me the solid green one which I'm really excited about because having a solid color is just kind of easier to mix and match with themes and stuff so yeah I was excited about that. And then I got another one of these mini water bottles. I have one but I decided to get one for Toodles too. And then I got some Bendy Bridges because, I mean, seriously, you can never have too many. And they're such a great price from BioVet. I know, like, PetSmart, they're like 5 or $6 for their National Geographic brand. And I forgot exactly how much these were in pounds, but they're pretty cheap compared. And I just, like I said, you can never have too many Bendy Bridges. And then I got these um, oat and honey stickles. They're like little sticks. And I've always wanted to try these, I don't know why, but it just seems like it would be a fun treat to put in like their playpen for them to nom on, they each get one. And this is really cool, um, Violet put it inside this tube and they said, greetings to you from England. And I just thought that was so cool that they took time to write on here, it's really sweet, so yeah. <laughs> so from Petco.com, because they're having their 40% off, I stocked up on mostly food. I got two bags of the Higgins Sunburst food. And then I got two bags of the Missouri Rat and Mouse Diet. This is really high protein. So while I was on my trip, I had the privilege of being near a Hobby Lobby. And one of the things I picked up for the hamsters was these little jars. I'm going to be using them for treats. They're just so cute and you turn them on the side. I've always wanted these. I just didn't know where you could find them. I thought the only place you could get them was like Ikea and I don't really live near Ikea either. So, um, yeah, I got four um, because I have four currently that are too small. I want to add more treats to them and look how cute they can sit like this and then you unscrew them. Um, and I actually got, because they were on sale for 50% off, I actually got two of the really big ones for $3 a piece that I'm actually going to be using for my hamster food now. So that was pretty exciting. I'm glad that I have cute dishes for my treats and food now. And then for the hamsters at Hobby Lobby, I got this little natural wood fence. I've seen like the white ones, but I haven't really seen the natural ones. And I like the natural ones because um, they're not painted. Um, so I feel more comfortable using these in my hamster cage. I'm probably going to flip them like this so the pointy parts aren't sticking up. But they just seem like they'd be a really fun addition to like a garden themed hamster cage. And then I was really excited when I found this because for some reason I can never find it in like Michaels and stuff. But it is the natural sisal rope and this is like safe for hamsters so I can make DIY toys and use it as knots and make bridges and rope bridges and stuff like that so I was really excited to find this there. 
So this next thing that I wanted to show you is for me, I also got it from Hobby Holiday and I am so excited that I found this because I have been looking everywhere for it on eBay and it was just so expensive. And it is this kerosene um, lantern, decorative lantern, and I wanted one of these so bad for a photo project and photo shoot that I really want to do. Originally it was almost $30, it was $26.99, but it was a 50% off and I was just like, I have to. <laughs> I've been looking for one of these forever and that's still a pretty decent price, I mean, considering that it's this really pretty decorative lantern and I'm really excited to use it. I did get some more craft related items at Hobby Lobby, but I don't want to make this video super long with um, a bunch of craft items, but if you guys would like to see craft type of videos in the future, just let me know. Um, I thought I would show you some girly clothes that I did get for the summer though. The first two are these really simple but really comfortable and I love the material. These, they're these two shirts, a light blue and a navy blue one and they're just so soft and nice and cool for the summer. And then I got this really pretty pink lace over top and look how pretty that lace is. It's just so pretty. I like wearing these because you can wear them over undershirts and you can still stay nice and cool during the summer. And then I got this um, short sleeved over top and it says Wanderlust and I love that so much. I wanted to get like a um, wall art that said Wanderlust in my room but I mean I guess I have enough stuff that's already up in my walls but I think that shirt is so pretty and I love the um, what it says. <laughs> and then I went to the thrift store and I came across this really pretty um, green shirt and it has like this really pretty sparkly butterfly on it and I actually really like this. I think it's so pretty. And then lastly, um, I don't normally go to the mall and look for clothes just because they're so expensive, but um, my family went to the mall so I just kind of was browsing around and I went to this one store called Vanity that by the way is really expensive, but they did have um, some clearance items from winter and um, yeah, <laughs> they were like really cheap. I got this sweater for four dollars. Can you believe that? Look how pretty it is. It has like little sparkles in it and it's really warm for Christmas time. I love Christmas time and I miss Christmas so I got this and then I got this really pretty um this one I think was more like eight dollars but it was so perfect and pretty I couldn't pass it up and it is this really pretty black and it has like these black lacy arms and I got this for ice skating because I love to go ice skating and it just seems like a really pretty shirt to wear ice skating. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too long. It was more of a long chatty video, but I wanted to make a long chatty video since I just got back. And I'll get into more like hamster related videos. Like I was going to make like a hamster care video and then... I'm probably going to be giving Toodles a cage theme tomorrow and possibly Butterball too, so you guys can look forward to those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.